from some unknown year, probably the 1980s. Here's the Randix MCT-550 combination calculator and it says micro cassette recorder, but it's actually for mini cassettes. Looks like it originally cost close to 80 bucks. See some of the specifications there. Eight digit four function memory calculator. Uses two one and a half volt little button cell batteries. Tape recorder, built in microphone. Spoiler alert, my tape recorder doesn't work. Battery compartment's totally destroyed. And I get nothing with a four and a half volt adapter. So let's take a look at it. Taking a little styrofoam package out of the box, we find a little earphone in there. And here's the unit and it's Plastic. It has a little lid on the mini cassette function pop, which pops off. And there we have the calculator side. Here's the left side, a spot for a four and a half volt DC input, volume, and here's the cassette side, the speaker, little cassette well, and you notice whenever I do that I forget to take the top off so it pops off. And then here's our functions, play, record, it's got a spot for an earphone. And it has a spot for a remote, if you had a remote pedal or remote switch that you wanted to use with the mini cassette. So, inside the lid is your 90 day warranty. Pretty standard. I did a video of a Randex radio, a little transistor radio, a year or two ago. Eventually it broke after that video and I think I threw it away. Hey, Randex was not a top name in consumer electronics. And here's our instructions. Nothing fancy about this. You can pause your screen. The battery loading was the worst part for me, trying to figure out where the little button cell batteries went for the calculator. They, they say, look inside the battery compartment. Yeah, that's what you do. They're not in the battery compartment. They're in the battery compartment lid, hiding. Took me forever to find that. Nothing fancy in these instructions if you've ever used a calculator or a cassette recorder. some of our specifications. Micro recorder. Eight transistors. DC bias. Magnet erase. There's our calculator specs. I did a couple looks inside to see why the calculator the uh, recorder wouldn't work and how I could figure out what was going on with the battery compartments. The ones were the ones were destroyed, the triple A's, and I couldn't figure out where to put the button cells. So let's take a look at that. Looking inside the unit to see what if anything was wrong, obvious. The uh, belts seem to be okay, at least that one seems to be okay. 
I don't see anything wires disconnected or the really obvious stuff. But who knows? Might take more checking than I'm willing to put into it. The motor says a little hard to get a good angle here, but it says KTA Japan. Taking a close look at the battery compartment damage, uh, it was really dissolved, and that has a lot cleaned up. That's a lot of time spent cleaning that up just to get it to that bad of a condition. There's two screws you have to take out if you want to open the calculator up, along with screws on either side at the top. So, battery compartment was cooked. It was done. And uh, there's two contacts there that look a little unusual at the top. And this is what you see when you look at the lid of the battery compartment. Eventually that's where I figured they were hiding, but it did take a while. 357s. I want to talk for a minute about mini and micro cassettes since this is called a micro cassette recorder. This is a micro cassette from Sony. This is a mini cassette from Norelco. You'll notice the mini cassette is substantially bigger than a micro cassette. This is a micro cassette recorder, again from Sony. And you can see a micro cassette fits in there just fine, as you would expect. Mini cassette. Uh uh, doesn't work. It's too big. In the Randix, the micro cassette just doesn't fit in. There's guide posts here that correspond with the holes on a mini cassette with the alignment holes. So the mini cassette fits in. Micro cassette does not. So this is a mini cassette recorder. Uh, maybe Randix boxed up and sold some mini cassettes. They marketed as micro cassettes for people for this. I don't know, but uh, there's no action still. There's obviously electrical things. Even using a four and a half volt adapter, there is just no power to it. Switching sides. Doesn't improve things anyway. No power, no tally light. When the record comes on, so there's some sort of uh, serious electrical mechanical difficulties with this unit that go beyond the batteries. A couple of miscellaneous items. Um, this lid that always pops off has a couple of detents there, one on either side, different locations. Corresponding to just a couple of protrusions there, and I'm not exactly sure what those are for. Maybe it gives more surface area for a connection. Curves do do that. Also, I can pull that out. It does have a carrying strap. And I probably didn't show it, but this has a little um, vinyl case to put everything in. Just a couple other things that work with it. Mine, this little plate over the calculator, the glue has dried up. I need to get some super glue to put onto that. But the calculator does work.
eight digits. Oops, pulled the battery compartment out. See, there's a negative there, negative two. So that's how it identifies the negative numbers. And you have your memories, add, recall, things like that. Um, nothing special. If you used a four function calculator, you've got those. But at least the calculator part does work. Maybe I'll put it in service somehow after all the trouble I had with those batteries. That would make sense. Get some super glue to put that on better. Well, that has been some unknown year of the Randix MCT 550 combination mini cassette recorder and calculator. I kind of like it. I like combination things. Wish it was in better condition, but it's good for a display piece a type of thing. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.